Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and today I have for you guys a new Minecraft showcase. This one's basically of a particular airport in Minecraft that actually is really well crafted. It has all the terminals, the main waiting areas, about five, six, maybe even seven different airplanes, a completely functioning traffic control tower up top, and a lot of other cool functions. I really guess the only thing it's missing is kind of a lot of redstone creations, but I'm not really sure what you could create in the meantime, because like I kind of like I'm on the fence about this. Like I'd rather have some redstone creations going on here, but at the same time, there's not really much that you you can do, I guess you could say, because Minecraft isn't advanced enough for vehicles, unless you do get the vehicle mod, which, in which case, this would probably be a really cool map to do. But I'm not going to talk about what ifs, I'm going to talk about how cool the map is, as well as some things that can make it a lot of fun. So as you can tell, it kind of has everything that a regular airport would have. The only difference is, obviously, it is in Minecraft, so it's a little less detailed than you'd see, but certainly the major points are here, and the thing that I was thinking of as soon as I spawned it in is Counter-Strike. And I know that has nothing to do with Minecraft, but let me just explain it real quick. Counter-Strike used to be a game where you could do counter terrorists versus terrorists, you'd have bomb plants, you'd have regular games, and you just try and fight each other out, stop a team from planting the bomb, much like Search and Destroy was in Call of Duty. Well, the same thing can kind of apply to a game like this. You could easily have a game where you put, say, an obsidian block or something that might take a while to mine on one of the airplanes, or have a team be able to plant the uh, obsidian slash bomb anywhere they want in this area, and then you could have another team swarm in and try and take them out having full iron gear. Maybe the people that plant it have iron gear and a diamond sword or give them a little bit of an advantage because they're on the defensive. Regardless, there's a lot of different game modes that you could play with this, and uh, I think anyone could have a really good time with it. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, as always, the link is down below, and you can have a great time doing it. I'm just going to keep showcasing a little bit more about here. That was the main area I showed you guys inside a plane. This is what like one of the waiting areas would be like, and uh, let me just show you guys real quickly. Way over, if you jump out of here, and uh, you walk out into the middle over here, you can see the air traffic control tower right up there, and wow, okay, Mitch wants to ruin this video, sorry Mitch, you had to ruin that, anyway, look up there, that's the air traffic control tower, and yeah, so it's a really cool map, I'd highly suggest checking it out, if you are interested at any time, you can go down in the description, download it, it's links down below, all credit goes to the creator, and yeah, so guys, I hope you all enjoy, and have a good night.